Genuine Gems. Good morning. Happy Monday to you, 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 and you. All of you around the world that's tuning in with your girl. But, so, yeah, I'm in the bathroom recording. I have to get out of here because I have acupuncture within 30 minutes. So, this will be a brief video or we may even continue the conversation in the car. Oh, Lord, I got some. I decided to put a little eyeshadow on, y'all, and I'm going to smear it. Lord Jesus. Okay, anywho. And then I'm used to looking that way, I think, for the camera, but it's okay. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, so I came on here because I was just talking to a friend of mine about, like, um, appointments with hairstylists. So I'm not talking about uh, the person that did my hair this time, the, the place that did my hair this time. Um, I've been to this braid shop for almost seven years, you know, so I'm not, I'm not specifically speaking about them in this instance but i've had a situation or two with them before that i've rectified so i'm not talking about that you know is the stuff with them has been rectified resolved and we done moved on to bigger and better but i'm speaking on other stylists that i've encountered or dealt with and my friends as well like people that i know as well so friends family people that i know associates whatever you want to call them so i'm finding that and this is why I left one of my stylists some months ago, like when I first moved back here. Okay, so she could be late, but I can't be late. And then I pay a fee if I'm late? Make it make sense. I feel like, okay, so as a stylist, right, a person is paying you for a service that they're seeking, right? So if you have, I don't have a problem with the late policy because I'm early for my stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, things happen where, you know, something out of my control and, you know, maybe a few minutes or whatever, but I'm, you know, calling, letting you know, or whatever, but that's few, far and in between. But I mean, like, if you're going to charge somebody for being late, right, that same rule or reference needs to be applied to you. So, because your schedule is your responsibility, you know what I'm saying? And so... Like, my previous stylist, I got mad because she's like, if we're both late, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you was on time, lady, you know, like, come on, don't try to shift that responsibility to the client. I feel like it's not fair. I mean, what are y'all thoughts? Like, comment down below and y'all tell me y'all thoughts. Because it's like, to me, if you're going to make that responsibility on the client and put, you know, a $20 or whatever the fee is for the client being late, you should be held, your fee should be held to the same fire. Like, I think it's only fair. So if you're late and I'm there, cause I mean, cause this is what, like to me, what that's saying when you charge your client, but then you're not held to that same standard, besides it being a double standard, it's like you're saying that your time is more valuable than mine or your time is more valuable than that client. Like that's bull crap. I do not agree with that at all. I feel like everybody should be held to the same standards. And so that way, you know what I'm saying? Like we know it's real. My time is important and your time is important. So if I have to wait for you to come and you know, you're late so that I know my time is important because if I was late, you would hold me to that standard and make me pay whatever that fee is and I'll flip it to you. So if it was a $20 one, okay. So now you take $20 off my services, right? Or am I wrong? Like y'all sound off below. Like tell me, know how, let me know how y'all feel. But anyway, we'll continue this conversation and maybe some more in the car, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, off of here because I've been on here for four minutes and I don't want to be late. Uh, this will be my third acupuncture uh, visit and we'll talk about that too. Give me a minute. We're gonna come right back. Okay, I'm back. Click it or ticket, y'all. All right. Okay, now I got the uh, camera on this side. So I don't know, hopefully it'll be right, y'all. I'm gonna be driving, so I won't really be uh to you know zone in on y'all or whatever but i'm here um i just want to carry on the the rest of our uh conversation that we were having um so the um yeah the thing i was talking about was the hair appointments and like stylists i feel like any type of um person that you're paying for a service and, I, and like i said you guys can respectfully disagree with me. I, you know, I'm totally okay with that. I just want to know, like, am I logically thinking when I feel like, um, you know, 
we should all be held to the same standard because you're paying for a service. And so if you're gonna charge the client a fee for being late or you know what I mean, anything like that, you should be held to those same standards because I feel like, okay, oh goodness, it's a spider on my windshield. Wait a minute, let me get it. I just sprayed it. You know, I feel like, um, so when you go to like a stylist and things like that, like, one, like I- One, four, one, four, three, Three. Okay, so I'm sorry, y'all. A phone call was trying to come through. I'm sorry. Um, I'll have to get to that in a minute. But okay, so as I was saying, and I'm sorry if it's shaky, guys, because I am in the car and I have it on a different kind of mount. But no, so what I was saying is like, so what I was telling y'all about my braid uh, stylist, the lady. Um, so I've been going there for a period of almost seven years. And, um, you know, it's a relationship. Why does man, Lord Jesus, help him? It's a relationship like any other. And um, I feel like, you know, to maintain a equally yoked uh, relationship to, you know, for lack of better words right now, um, I think that's a, one of the best ways to express it um, is, excuse me, that you don't, like you wouldn't, okay, in your relationship, you wouldn't hold your mate, or you, I wouldn't, I say I wouldn't hold my mate to expectations that I wouldn't have for myself so that they can be realistic. You know what I'm saying? So like, for instance, if y'all, if we living together, I'm gonna use myself as an example, and I'm just speaking in general here, um, for like, as far as like my standards of what I would not would not allow or whatever. If I were to be like, um, I don't want you to come in um, after midnight or whatever, then I would, I would expect, you know, the same from me. I wouldn't come in after midnight because, you know, I wouldn't realistically think that I would hold my man to these standards and not be accountable to the same standards. If I'm, if I'm making sense, y'all, but like I said, you know, I don't care about anybody disagreeing, just respectfully do so and we're good. Um, and I'll come back and we'll talk about, um, you know this a little more and i also get into the acupuncture but i need to call that was my best friend i need to call her back and then um i'll be back guys. and just like that i'm back so i finished my treatment and now i mean i know we're talking about appointments or um the charging for um fees of you know when you pay for a service if you're late or if they're late but now i'm going to talk about the acupuncture I got some pot bellies and this part of the video is going to be a mukbang, I guess, because I'm going to eat and talk to y'all. It is raining, which sucks, but I got my car running and I got the heat on and I took my seatbelt off and pulled over so I can talk to y'all. Sanitize my hands a little bit. I don't think I'm going to eat these crackers. I don't know. Anywho, let's say grace and then I'm going to get into this. And once I eat a little bit, we'll talk. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal I'm about to receive. And I pray that it's nourishing, strengthening, and healing to my mind, body, and soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Right. So I just have a half ham sandwich and some broccoli and cheese soup. Same thing I get with my wet last time, huh? And I have, let's see, I'll show you guys. I don't even know if I posted the other video, y'all. I don't know. If I didn't know y'all eventually, you'll get it. I have lettuce, mayo, onion, uh, tomato, and pickle on my ham sandwich with the cheese. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And I have some Italian seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. So, mm. lip gloss sticking to my chin. Mm -hmm. I may end up saving my soup. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. Mm. 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 You know what? <clears throat> oh. They didn't give me no napkins.
Got this one. I my glove box. But I was just sitting here thinking. I don't think I ever put out the other video. <laughs> that was when I was eating this. And I was talking about the acupuncture. But at any rate, y'all. Y'all know I'm behind on editing videos and all of that. So I'll have to get that up and then that video is supposed to be before this video. But I'm just talking about um, you know, my treatment. So it, it should be okay. Yeah. Cause in that one I'll explain more so about acupuncture or whatever. But Yeah, I think it's helping. And I'll talk more about it in one minute. I'm just trying to get some of this food here. Mm. Y'all get the rain? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Y'all want another bite? Mm -mm -mm. Here you go. Don't eat too much. Y'all know how I be. <laughs> uh oh, I'm starting to do my little dance, boy. <laughs> it must be good to sell. I'm trying to make sure I can eat it on my sandwich because this ain't going to be so good warmed up, you know? Because it's got those fixings that usually are cold. Versus my soup, I can warm it up. So. I ain't tripping on it. I don't eat that now. Mm. Mm. This sandwich is so good. But since y'all didn't see the other video, and I'm not sure if I said it or not in the other one, but um just to help understand why I consider acupuncture is because I was having, you know, different issues that like I um talk about in the other video when y'all get it a little bit. I remember um I wanted to try, you know, an alternative to just taking a pill and treating a symptom, if that makes sense. Mm. Well, you know, so acupuncture was something that I sought out, did my little homework on. And I think it's beneficial. I think today was my third treatment. Mm -hmm. And I will say, <laughs> so um, usually people, um, according to like the acupuncturist, have a fear of needles or they think that they like, you know, feel like the needles that you would get if you got your blood drawn or something. And my response to that, <laughs> um, I would say it would, it depends because mm, so I think it's like 2,000 or something points in your body. I think it's like 2,000. And they choose about, I think, five to 20 different points to, um, you know, use because they said if they did more than that, you would be turned off from it and it wouldn't come back. <laughs> it can be really overwhelming, I guess, if they do too many. And so, excuse me. And so, um... The points that they did 
and like with this clinic they'll adjust them like you know after each treatment to see if you know each place is effective still and if it helped or you know and so the first time it was the area like right in here somewhere along this area of my hand that was really tender that um I had to have them to oh excuse me take it out halfway through the treatment and then this time it wasn't as bad um the second time I don't think it was bad as bad either but three it was like three different points on my left side though that they did today I was ready to jump up off the table <laughs> But the once they get the needle in, because it just feels like a little bee sting or something. Once they get the needle in, like as time goes on, the pain of it just kind of starts to dissipate, if that makes sense. So they um, did two points in my head. Both of those were tender today. Previously, they weren't. They did a point on my ear over here. They did that one at each visit, but this visit, it was tender. Um, and the doctor was saying because those points, because when we discussed, uh, you know, I had our little consultation part today, I had indicated that, you know, stress was still a, a major thing and I thought my body was processing it wrong or incorrectly still. And so those were points to help my body on the stressors. And it's basically like the everyday stressors of life. And so... I guess some people may know and some people may not know, but regular stress is okay. But if your body processes stress wrong, which it can have a whole multitude of different reasons of why, or it could be a combination of things, um, you know, like trauma and things like that. That's just one to name, you know, just one. It could be anything really, but I know mine could be more directly related to trauma. And so, um, he did those points to help teach my body the, or help my body with dealing with um, stress. Cause my body, it seems to like process it wrong. I hope I'm making sense for y'all. But basically, oh, excuse me. That's what, um, you know, that was for those points oh here we go with these pickles again I'm at the end of this sandwich it's like just a little piece and y'all know I don't eat bread like that so it's like uh, I'm kind of over it I have to try to revisit that sandwich later I'm going to eat a little bit of this soup and save the rest for later I'm gonna get up out of here. I hope y'all having a great and prosperous Monday. And don't let nobody mess up your day. Mm. Okay. When I had this soup last time, it was a little watery. I like it this time, it has more flavor. I'm sure when I reheat this, I'll put some more cheese. I'll sprinkle a little cheese on the top and some pepper. Mm. It's like a perfect day for soup. It's raining. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can show y'all. See the rain on my window? It make me think about, um, see the rain. Yeah. Y'all might hear it too. It make me think of that, um, Mary J. Blige song. Um, the rain on her window pane. I can't think of the verses right now, but yeah, it just popped up in my head about that. Mm. Num, num, num. <laughs> I'm telling you. I still say that I like um, Cousin Sub's soup better, but... Nonetheless, 
it's just like when I moved to Tennessee, I had went to a place called, um, I think it's called Old Charlie's, I don't know. But I wanted a sub, you know, because we have cousins here. The sub was, it was all right, but it was nothing like cousins, I can say that. They could not beat my cousins. I mean, the sub was decent, but I just, it couldn't compare. Can't compete where you don't compare, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm like I said, there's no shots being fired towards them. It was a decent sandwich or sub, but it's just not cousins, so it wasn't the same. Oh yeah, yeah, I'ma head home. Starting to come down for real for real. Thank God I got braids. <laughs> Cause man. Oh, I do got my umbrella in here, y'all. I was thinking like, do I got my umbrella? Y'all. Concludes the rest of my video. Mm. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Um, and don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, but most importantly, stay what? Stay genuine. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.